Good morning, Ricky Resells. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, friends. Emma is taking Ada to school this morning, so I can crack straight on. It's only early, quarter to nine, so I've got a lot to do. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to grab another handful of clothing. Emma's actually home for today. She works on... Emma's actually home today. She works on home, works at home. Get it out. Emma's actually home today. She works at home on Fridays or she has Fridays off. Doesn't even work. <laughs> Emma's home today. She doesn't work Fridays. Well done. I can't do it. High five. So she's going to be around. So I can't just like take over the living room. But I am going to do a few bits there for 20 minutes. Then she's going to piss off and get her nails done for an hour. Which means I can do some more. I've got a few cells I need to pick as well. But first, I do want to grab some clothing and just take some pictures and take advantage of while she's out and about. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I think most of this is t-shirts here. So I'm just going to grab a load of t-shirts, probably that section there, and then work through that. And then most of this here is coats, which is perfect because it's been saved for the winter and autumn. Yay, clever. Right, see you in a bit. Sticking with box S, you wait until you see what state this house is like in the mornings. Hello. Oh, it's not that bad today. George's birthday today. Happy birthday, George. Happy birthday, George. Look at that. Ayrton, it's going to take some doing this is for me to stay away from that bad boy. Happy birthday, you bumda. <laughs> no, I didn't even see that one. As always, just gonna slam them up there, get some light on there, uh, you know, do it. So I think just a matter of whatever I can fit in my hands, there's the t-shirt, there you go. That and that, obviously these ones have gone back on. So that bundle just there, that's what I'm gonna do. I actually had to use two hands for that. I've got a football kit in here as well. Somebody asked me for this, but I can't remember who it was. I've got a few bits of footy kit and stuff in there. Remember, when you watch this video, nine times out of 10, it hasn't been listed yet, or it has, it's straight up on Vinted. Most of my clothing goes on Vinted, unless it's really special pieces. Even then, it's probably gonna go on Vinted. Or, you need to reach out to my Instagram ASAP. Messaging me on Vinted, messaging me on eBay. I can't respond to those messages. Unfortunately, they're not chat forums and I can't use them like chat forums. I have to sometimes, only sometimes, ignore your messages. I can't say to you, go over to Instagram and you can speak to me because it's against terms and conditions on both platforms. Both platforms? Both platforms. So if you want to chat, reach out and inquire about stuff or just say hello, Instagram's the best place. Because I don't want to be rude, that's all. If you message me on Vinted like some of you have and said, hi mate, love the channel. Thanks. I can respond to that. But when you ask me about different platforms or buying and selling and prices and stuff, I can't, I can't answer. Hope you understand. Love you. We're all set up, but first, it is breakfast. <laughs> Honestly, the easiest thing to eat in the morning and full of everything that I need. It's Friday, I forgot. Emma cleans the house on Fridays. So why was I come in here and pick some sales? Camera's the wrong way. Well, this isn't going to work, is it? Better. Let's start from the bottom. Started from the bottom. No, we don't sing Drizzy. First off for £11.69, Westy Boy Ben has picked up the Guinness Triple XL fleece top. Picked this up from Ricky's Whatnot Stream, I think, for about a tenner. Sold it for, mainly to support him, sold it for £11.69. So made a couple of quid and I managed to put a bit of money in Ricky's pocket. Another massive bargain is the Carré Don like knitted skirt. Paid a pound for my car boots, so I sold it for £4.44. I went through my vintage last night and reduced loads of prices. And obviously with that, it sends out notifications saying, Oi, this fella's just reduced something you've been watching. So buy it basically. And it was bought. £4.44. It's like a knitted kind of skirt, elasticated. It's a weird one. Like a knitted jumper, but a skirt. There you go. <laughs> Can you hear that vacuuming? She's just hit the twingy thing on the door. Another one that was reduced yesterday, 17 pound and 17 pence. We've sold the black Supergas. I think they owe me around, I paid 29 quid for two pairs. So they owe me like 15, I suppose. Yeah, 14.50. So I'm a 17, 17. So not a great deal, but it does bring the cost down of the Burberries. Not a great deal at all there, actually, actually. But I've moved stuff on. You know, if it's not selling, if it's not selling, I don't normally research everything in the field. If it's not selling straight away, I'll just move it on. I'll just reduce it. As long as I make a bit of profit. God, the internet's being slow today. What's going on? 
made a loss on this t-shirt it was when i picked up that bundle of star trek and all those kinds of things I paid four pound for this one i think it was sold it for three pounds 33 because it wasn't worth as much as i thought it was going to be and it doesn't fit me i picked it up mainly if you remember i said because i'll wear that just one size too small for me i'm not into the muscle look at the minute and i won't be either i used to be so i love ties to wear stuff people used to say to me got your sister's t-shirt on mate i don't blame them that's what it looked like well hey Livy has picked up the cactus plant flea market t-shirt the rolling stones one with the big plant on the front tour t-shirt really really smart this one it's my size and my style i thought i'll give it a go on the stores see what i can do with it if i can achieve a nice healthy sum even close towards the price i'll sell it if it doesn't sell within four weeks which this was coming up to no i only listed it the other day then i would have kept it myself but olivia twisted my arms put right here and went 45 pound and 45 pence i really appreciate this olivia she actually said um deal dude great to have finally bought something to support you in the channel keep up the sick vids can't wait to see the next one here it is thank you olivia i appreciate it on its way to you soon da -da 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 da 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 bad boy chili crew sold both of the tapes the ones i overpaid for paid like 14 quid for a bundle of stuff ridiculous they sold for £9.87 and they go in to Mr. Christopher Baker. Chris, I appreciate it, mate. Let's not do that too much. I want to crack them, do we? I had this listed for, I think, £6.69 or something. Something like that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And Martin actually sent me an offer of £8.69. And I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why. Old man. The man is torturous. He says, howdy, sticky Ricky. Not heard that for a few years. Forget that was even said. Move from your brains. Let's not make it a thing, yeah? Loving your content and learning from you. This is where it gets a bit devilish. The extra is for you to go and buy Ada a donut or cake from Greg's. But please record it so we can watch your pain going into Greg's. Because he knows I can't eat Greg's at the moment. Dropping weight. Doing well. Doing really well, actually. I'm going to do a live stream on that. I'm going to invite Ayrton on soon. So if you want to come over and check that out. And it's basically going to be about how we neglect ourselves as entrepreneurs, as resellers, as people who work mainly from home. How we just neglect ourselves and what we need to do to realise and get back onto it. So that's going to be a good one. The 69 is for your numbers because I like weird numbers. I said, why would you do that? So, Mar oh. so Martin, I massively appreciate that. I'll be going to get Ada or Greg's after school today, I'm sure. You might see it in the next video though. And for £2.22, because the condition isn't fantastic, like, you know, the collar's a bit miffed, it's a little bit like tatty, no holes, no rips, no tears or anything, but a nice little polo shirt. Had it listed for £2.22, I'm quite liking repeating numbers at the moment, and sold it for £2, so that one's out the door. But I know I like repeating numbers, if you're a viewer of the channel, right, let me just show you something. So I've got, I've got the gym head bag listed for, now what did I have listed just there? I had something listed for like a good price. Oh, that was it. So I've got the head bag. I've got the, I've got the Star Trek t-shirt listed for 34.34. And Sophie sent me an offer of 22.22. Like numbers captivate me. But they don't twist my head. That's well too cheap, girl. And I've just noticed another offer on the head bag from, from Man Like Dazza. I've got it listed for 28.28. He sent me an offer of, which it was 33.25. He sent me an offer of 16.97. Unfortunately, I won't entertain them. You know, I know I, I, I know I do bargains and I do deals and I'm happy to do them, but like, not unrealistic deals, you know what I mean? If you want to go out there in the field and get up at five in the morning, find them, process them yourself, I, I understand why you want to pay cheap, cheap, cheap. But if you ain't doing that work, come on, come on. Right, and eBay, moving over to eBay, we've sold two things. I told you my eBay has been getting neglected, but I've got a lot of eBay worthy stock now to go on. So that's going to be good. Jigglypuff has sold for £13.49. All pure profit now. For £13.49, which is the same number, we sold this cute little narwhal. I got this originally for Ada, and then I got home and I was like, oh, what's that? What is a feisty pet? And I said, oh, but she won't like that. Oh, and also I've sold almost forgot so I put these in a video of course i was going to be listing them all sunita actually saw the video and reached out to me on instagram straight away and was like yo i want them hats what can you do so i said i'll tell you what 
I'm going to list them for X amount of prices, but if you want them all, 30 quid, all in. She was like, but that's not like you. How about 29.87? So I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> then weird prices work on platforms. They don't really work that very well a lot on direct sales. So Sunita's picked these up, massively appreciate her. She's picked up the center court, which everybody has reached out for. I'm so sorry to you guys that couldn't get it. It's no usual lose. The duck cap, which is fantastic. And the Astro World, 30 pounds, all in. They're all from my personal collection. And also, Mr. C. Watson has picked up a cap off me. It is the Yeti one with the netting. Took us months to get here, to get the sale. Unbelievably long amount of time. All on my part, of course. He's paid £15 for that. So I massively appreciate it. His Instagram is It's Percy Pig, which is a fantastic name. Please do go check him out. He did mention his eBay, but he actually hasn't given me the eBay account. So I can't really, I can't really do it. No, but please do go check out his Instagram account. Lovely bloke. And I'm really sorry for it to take so long. I'm really sorry. Is there any more? Oh yeah, Mr. King Parker Monkey has picked up. Where is it? I think it's over here. It is. He's picked up the Ralph Lauren polo cap. 15 quid all in. He's the one who is responsible for MF Coo. Tried to rap like a pigeon then. Didn't quite work, did it? It is only 36 minutes past nine. I haven't woke up probably yet. So he's picked those up. Is that it? I think Jamie's going to be picking up the two Fresh Ego Kid caps as well, but we haven't got, we haven't finalised that one yet. So as far as sales, there we go, mother chuffers. We're all done. I'm going to go and list some clothing in a minute. Emma's going to get her nails done at 10 o'clock. So I'll take over the living room then. I've already done a little bit of taking over. I don't want to take the piss. That should only take me an hour to get through them clothing pieces. And then we're going to go check out the charity shop and see what we can find in there. So we're probably going to hit the charity shop today at around about 11, half 11. So we're going to go for an afternoon sprawl, an afternoon wander this time. I'll see you again if anything comes up. Emma has just left, so I need to leg it. Done a load of postage. Now it's time to get what I can done in here before Emma comes back in. Problem is, there isn't much sunlight today. There was loads the other day. I wonder if that's causing an issue. Please don't break. That might be enough. Yeah, that's plenty. So as always, we'll take a picture of the box number so we know what it is. And then when it comes to the camera roll, anything after S, I know belongs in the S box. Just a lot easier when it comes to listing. Right, five to 10, let me crack on. By the way, I don't even know if I can use it or not, but this channel here, Hip Hop Intelligence, has created full on AI albums. I'm obviously going through the Eminem one because I love Eminem. They are so good. It's like 98 to 2002 Slim Shady kind of style. Just that good shit. It's just so good. You need to go check it out. Hip Hop Intelligence is the channel. If you like Eminem, go and check it out. So you'd never know. You would never know it's not his stuff. It's so weird and cool. See in a bit. 25 past 10. We've been at it for what? 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Managed to fill the box up nearly. Got a ton done, maybe 10, 15. Annoyingly, that many there need to be looked through. Either need washing or debubbling or something, which is very frustrating. But we've got a chunk done. So we're going to stick that back in the garage before Emma gets home. And then we'll take our parcels to the shop and then go check out the Chazza. See if there's any more phones in there. Also, I've got to put the damn swimming pool away today before it starts raining, otherwise it's going to get mouldy. Just a pain in the ass job today. Anyway, parcels and Chazza. Let's go, baby. Take them in. Honestly, I love it. it. Takes 10 seconds. There's Emma getting her nails done. Hello. <laughs> Another day. Bless you, thank you. Straight to it. Good afternoon, or morning even. How are you? Good, good. It's not power puppy. Fuzzy action man. 
action man parachuter. It's gonna be like 96 that one, I think, 95. Might be worth a pickup to be honest. If only because he's got like all his guns and stuff. I think we'll go for that. It's got to be like 30 quid in it, surely. With his guns and his parachute and his mask. Has to be. Has to be. I could be wrong though. That'd be the first time I'm wrong with it. 3,000 piece there. Might be worth a look. No, they only go for about 12. I'm not bothered with that. Hello, my dear. Right. Yeah, these are funky looking, aren't they? Almost a little bit ugh, but they're not. I don't know what they are. I think they're probably pen holders or something. Oh, yeah. do, 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 do. That feels very heavy. How heavy does that feel for a mug? Very. Isn't it? Yeah. Do buy it duty free. We'll buy it. Probably costs a lot of money to get to the Dubai duty free. None of these clubs are worth it. I bought them. Still hasn't sold. What's that? Why well, sell Broly? Three quid. Go on then. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's two of them. What a day to be alive. I don't think that's a YSL walker. I don't think you need one of them just yet. Excuse me, I think you'll find I probably well do. <laughs> we get up in the morning and it's a, it's a chore. <laughs> it happens fast, doesn't it? It does. Quick IKEA family. Have you seen that ages before? Them. Yeah, ages and. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, don't want to get told you? off by you. I'm going to go outside and open this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In case your world crumbles, thank you, my dear. I've got it. Yeah, we'll see. I've got it over you, alright. Sound. I opened one indoors before and got told off. Nothing's gonna happen. God. Anybody want any backing for a new backdrop? Two quid, I think. Oops. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here, shall we? Not bad. Not bad. Max Fly, Woods. Nothing outstanding. Quite like the look of that one. The makers might there. There we go, the random pickup of the day. We love that. Oh, these are good. These are good. 12 quid though. Sounds like it's cracked as well. You get about 25 to 40 on the Sylvia's, but it doesn't sound too pretty, does it? Rain, but that's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> I'm sick to death of rain being forecast though. But, but just in case, okay. alright? We say just in case around here. We don't want any rain. No. Oh, I'm obviously going to flog them on, aren't I? I know you are. Can't use it. Can't. I think, I think, I think I've used an umbrella like twice in my life. Really? Yeah. This feels interesting. Blow mesh made in Australia. I don't know, I'm gonna have a bash on it. Gross. Not so gross. And it's a Phillips of Axminster. Yoink. Mm, don't know who you are, but thank you. Some tights can go really well. I think those might, but they also can sit around forever. America, they fly out. Oh. 
I'm gonna buy some more racing gear. Clown. Cordura overalls. Okay, you ready for the randomness? <laughs> um, if I give you that. Okay. And I'll start to try and, I don't know, nicely Ooh. unload this. That'll do. Yeah, it'll go in there. It's hard to open that one. But you managed, didn't you? I did. Scan, no? Of course it won't scan. Why would it work? That wouldn't happen. You're asking too much now. Sure. The greatest hero of them all. Sure. When you were a little boy? No. Oh, you were a little one. Nope. <laughs> well, IKEA family. I can't work out if it was given to like staff or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's like an Ikea for the family. This side. Beautiful. I think I've nailed it. There we go, I'll take that one from your thing. Oh, good job. I'll stick it in. Beautiful okay, stuff. Then. Right, thank you. You have a good day. See you. Bye. All right, we did it again. We've got some cool little bits out of there today. Same shop. Always the same shop when I go local. We'll go through that stuff in a bit. I'm going to go and do the pool first. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. I've just come home and Emma has had a gift sent through the post by Savvy Saving Mama, which is Ellie. Thank you. She doesn't need any introduction into the Instagram world, but I wanted to say a big thank you anyway. This is a drawing that George done of him holding his mummy's hand when he was four. Four. Emma's recently gone and got the tattoo on the leg. Because it's now 13. Because it's now 13 today. And Ellie has put this on a mug for Emma. So I want to say a big thank you to Ellie. Thank you. Coffee in it now. Yeah, she loves tea, but she's using the coffee today. Cheers, Ellie. So, not only is it trashed the lawn, obviously, we didn't use a ground sheet, so this is the underneath of it. I had to scrub it down yesterday. We're just gonna try, just gonna see if we can save it for next year because our pools always look like that one over there. That's been the what's that, the third pool we've had over there? We've got a pool graveyard. Oh, yeah, we've got a pool graveyard, so we're gonna try and save this one as much as we can. See in a bit. Okay. Look at all those eggs in there. Oh, are they spiders eggs, Emma? Yeah, this one is, because there's a spider. Well, there's loads of ants in here, and spiders. Oh my God, maybe it is ants. It is, it's ants. Done. I actually broke a sweat. It's one of them jobs I've been looking at for the last month, knowing it has to be done, and it's just been stressing me out. But we've done it now. Let's have a look at all our goodies. I'm really excited about those YSL umbrellas. Well, we've certainly had worse days at the charity shop. This is just the second day of me going after getting all them phones. One local charity shop. Some of that stuff's probably been there for ages. I just have never noticed it before because my eyes are always drawn to certain things different times. But anyway, my battery's low, so let's get cracking and show you what I picked up. For 75p, I picked up this Dubai Duty Free mug just because it is... I can't even describe to you how heavy it is. I actually had to get one of the ladies to prove a point on camera for me. 75 pence. It's got to cost more than... I don't know. It's got to cost a lot to even get to Dubai Duty Free, isn't it? The glow mesh purse that I picked up for took a risk on one pound. I say risk, not took a chance. It's never a risk. It's a lovely purse for a pound, so it would always sell. It just feels very, very, very well done. It feels like a bit of quality about it. I looked at the brand inside and thought, if you're going to brand it, it's probably worth a bit. Paid one pound. The closest one I can find is this purse, but in silver, has sold for 114 US dollars, so about 50, 60 quid. And then the handbags and purses are reaching like 80 to 100 pounds, so. I think that's probably a fair price. This one has like gold trim and like peachy kind of beigey, whatever that. It feels like scales. I know they're not, but they're supposed to feel like that. Yeah, really nice little pickup that is. Glow mesh. Look out for it. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Or glow mesh. Who knows? Action. Action man, power trooper, whatever his thing is called. Just because he's got all his bits. He's got his gun. He's got his boots. He's got his outfit. I think he's like 96, 97, something like that. He was £3.50. I reckon there's 30 to £40 in that. Well, I wouldn't normally pick up Action Men, but with all of his bits like that, and his little fluffy hair, 
I think it's worth it. I could be wrong. I always get stung on action men unless it's like the real vintage stuff. And what fell on the floor was, I just liked it. Like this vintage made in Hong Kong dragon. Dragon. <laughs> like dragon dinosaur looking thing. Do you know what I mean? You know how they look when they're like the vintage dragons and the vintage dinosaurs. I just like the way they look. And there is a market for this type of thing. 50 pence. I don't know, it might not be a seller or it might sell for like 10 quid. This weird little Beethoven thing, just because it's it's dated 1986, it's got a maker's mark on there. I'll find it, I'll find it. It was like my, what do you call it? Red herring of the day, kind of like weird pickup. £1.75 paid, it's got to be profit in that. I mean, I think these must have came in at the same time as all the other racing gear that I picked up. Notifications kicking off. It's Cordura fabric, brand new with the tags for a fiver. It's a big size by the look of it. Can't see, but they're bib trousers. So they're trousers and then you pull it up and you've got like a thing on top. I don't know about value, 20, 30, 40, 50. I really don't fully know, if I'm honest. Top G. A Lily Bloom bag, two pound. Anywhere between 12 and 20 on these. Lily Bloom is Quite a quick flipper. There you go. Two pound. These are decent. Phillips of Axminster. Sold a few of these now. I normally get about 29.99, but I don't think I've had. Yeah, I have. I've had this one. I've had this one that folds out like this. You get the shooting sticks as well. I think these are about, if I remember rightly, the market on these is about £29.99, give or take. 24 quid, sometimes 35. I paid £2.50. It does have somebody's name etched onto the back of it on one of the sides there somewhere it's not going to make a difference at all on to the umbrellas ikea family i've never seen that before so i thought i'll grab it it's three pound it's either going to be something given to the staff or it's like ikea for the family do you know what i mean stupid sticker on the phone why are they put it on the phone for that's going to peel everything off isn't it i'll take some care with that in a minute i don't know what it's going to be worth i'm hoping more than three pound i'm hoping However, these two most certainly are. They are exquisite pieces of rain protection equipment. Really, really nice. And they were only £3 each as well. There's the sticker. I pulled them off, obviously, because £3 and £3. Because they start to like mess with the handle. But I've done a video. Take a look. These look absolutely immaculate. The black one with the embroidered logo and the nice blue trim. It's even got its own little sheath hood that's what you call it and like detailing all the way down immaculate and the same for like the red and stripy one it almost has that kind of 80s color block feel anyway to it same with the detailing just really really nice this one actually has just a print logo on it so it's embedded in the fabric but they're both just really really nice pieces of kit price wise i've got no idea they could be a hundred pound they could be 200 pound they could be 50 pound i'm going to estimate at least 50 quid each. Hopefully, there's something really special because they are in immaculate condition as well. There's no light wear, no knocks, no marks. I mean, there's obviously like a few little bits and pieces on the end there, but still not much. Not like you'd expect from brollies of this age. These have to be 80s. They're a bit too, they don't quite fit the style of 90s. These are gonna be 80s, I'm sure. Just look at that. Just look at that, beautiful. Just chucked into the brolly bin at £3. And they might have been there before, just might never have seen them before. I have done a quick research. One in bright, ugly blue has sold for £34 with a repair. It's had a repair on it, it says. So hopefully we'll do, we'll do better than £34. Quid. But that's the only one that I can see sold in that kind of style with the same handle. So I don't really know the value. Well, you've seen quite a lot today and it's only 11 50 We've done loads today, haven't we? We're going to draw the winner for the crab tomorrow in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that one. And on that note, I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to anybody who's picked up any things from my stores, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully it rains so I'll get to use those brollies. That didn't work. <laughs>